and 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 this is what I'm I'm talking about when I'm um, referring to people like Joe Rogan. There's a difference between people who train and people who fight. See, this is what's funny. These people are going, have you seen Joe's kicks, man? Rogan would annihilate Vox. We're going to get to that, okay? Just remember that you said that. Remember what you're, remember what you're saying. Um, somebody mentioned, uh, somebody mentioned uh, the footage of Joe Rogan kicking somebody and winning a competition. That was what actually caught my attention. Because as impressive as that looked, and it is impressive, that's something that we call point fighting. And point fighting is just a game of tag. Point fighters don't have the ability to fight with actual fighters. And I'll, I'll explain this uh, in, in a little bit. I'm going to actually show you the video and explain what I'm talking about here. I'm not just talking smack. And again, I'm not uh, questioning Joe's cowardice. I'm not saying that he's inept. I'm not saying that he isn't a complete master of all the techniques that he's studied. What I'm saying is that he's not a fighter. And somebody who only trains in techniques and only does drills will almost always lose to an experienced fighter. This is Joe in training. The kicks look like they're impressive. They, you know, they, they make a lot of noise and that sort of thing. But what you have to understand is that to the trained fighter's eye, to the experienced fighter's eye, he's practically helpless. Experienced fighters know how to read people's bodies. And my uh, sensei once told me that I was, you know, one of the fastest fighters, other than the CB Bunkled, who is a, a champion, flyweight, he said I was one of the fastest fighters he'd ever fought. I didn't understand it because I said, that's not possible. I said, how can you possibly say that when you kick my ass and have been kicking my ass for the past four years? And he said, he just grinned and he said, <laughs> he said, you're very, very quick. He said, <laughs> but I know what you're gonna do before you do it. And so what you see here, now, now, watch, now watch what is happening when you watch the video. The first thing that you'll notice is that he's spinning. This is insane. This is hapless, it's hopeless. As soon as Joe would start to do this, look at that, bam. You do not have the time to spin when you're fighting somebody who knows what they're doing. That that clip that was impressive from Joe's championship, you know, point fighting days. The guy was coming in, so Joe spun and caught him in the stomach, got the point. You can't do that against a real fighter. Boom, right there, right as he spins, what you're going to get is you're going to get a front hop kick. What the 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 guy that you're coming at, the minute that he sees your shoulders start to twist, he's going to hop forward on his rear leg and his front leg is going to come up and go bam right in your kidney. So that's just ridiculous. I mean, yes, it looks impressive, but it's a finishing move. It's not a it's not a um it's not a starting move. Okay, now here. What do you see here? Look how his, his front leg moves first. First of all, it's a rear leading with a rear, rear kick, which is way too slow. That would just get you a side kick right in the gut before the foot even came up. You know, some of you guys are talking about how, um, oh, you know, oh, those kicks, they're so powerful. No, they're not, they're just rear kicks. You know, any rear leg kick is 
powerful, but they're very, very slow. Uh, somebody else just noticed the other big thing. He's dropping his hands, okay? If you drop your hands when you kick, I guarantee you, the next thing you're going to get is a side kick right up under your chin. You, you know, these kind of techniques, they look good to the amateur. And they're, they're fine, more or less. I mean, um, but anybody who actually has fighting experience looks at that and says, <laughs> he's leaving himself wide open. I mean, so look at this again. Also watch how he telegraphs the kick. He takes a little step with his front leg and then he brings up the kick, okay? This is the kind of stuff that we read. He would do that once, maybe twice, and then he'd be in big trouble. Now here's the problem with the punching. Watch his hips. He's, that's what we call poking. He's not snapping his hips at all, so there's no power in those punches. Poke, 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 poke. Poke, 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 poke. No power at all. The hips don't snap. You know, this stuff, poke, 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 it does nothing. I mean, yes, he's got a big upper body, but power comes from the hips. I am telling you, as a matter of absolute fact, that somebody who spends all their time in this kind of training and doesn't actually get in the ring and find out what kind of shot they can take has no idea how to fight. None whatsoever. If I were going to you know, be fighting Joe, which I'm not because I'm 50 and he's even older, um, but if, you know, if we were going to, I would simply be looking for those things and I would exploit those things. In a martial arts ring fight, anything can happen. You know, yes, you can imagine who's probably going to win. I would like to see what kind of shot he can take and, you know, see if he's able to, you know, ignore a good hard sidekick to the gut. If he's able to, uh, you know, take the occasional roundhouse kick to the face, you know. But what I saw there was not impressive. <laughs> Would you fight Joe one-on-one? -on -one? Uh, look, I haven't trained for fighting in 20 years. Joe has never done any serious hard contact fighting that I'm aware of. So I think that I think the very concept is is pretty absurd. Um, you know, I wouldn't be afraid of it. I think it would be certainly an interesting last hurrah. Unlike Joe, I am an elite athlete. Okay, I mean, the the I mean, I don't know if you understand, but I'm the size of an NFL cornerback, and I have safety speed, NFL safety speed. That's not something that normal people can deal with. 